Hi guys, I'm Exactcast and welcome back to another episode of Project Hospital. So we did Doctor's Mode in the last one um, and I continue to do a little bit of that between episodes uh, and I think I'm still actually ongoing uh, with doing a few of those things. So I kind of have a, have a quick look here and see if, if all of the treatments are the same then I kind of do that but this one is not so let's get physical examination going and a differential diagnosis so that we can limit what is going on over there so that's pretty good we'll do that but what I also want to do now is I want to pause the game uh, just because I'm trying to do a lot of stuff uh, this is pretty dirty so we need to do this uh, so we need to get some janitors over here but I've got a little bit of money um, so I'm thinking we need cardio um, cardio hospitalization going straight away so let me get the foundation going We'll place that in there. That cost us a fair bit of money, but it should be okay. Uh, and now what I want to do is let's get rid of these walls here. No, 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 no. Get rid. Get rid of these walls. There you go. And like that. And potentially like, yeah, like this. We'll see about, oh, actually, let's just get rid of that one as well so that we don't uh, uh, mess around with what is, uh, could be, could be uh, going in there. Okay, so we'll extend our little pathways just to make sure that our pathways um, go where they should be going. So that is the conclusion of our hospital area over here. So now we should have enough money to do our hospitalization piece. Um, thank you so um, again so much for the comments. Um, so you've been noting that we should probably get rid of this loan. Our daily interest, however, is only a thousand. We make a fair bit more than that. So I'm I'm okay to deal with that thousand for the time being the the extra 30k we have now to build stuff with is uh, is a little bit more valuable in my view okay let's go to prefabs we're going to go to the cardiology department and we definitely want to so we've got a where's the closest restroom over uh where all the way over here so we probably need about another restroom over here we'll do that um but first things first is we need an on-call room and we need a nurse's station so let's get the on call room going we could squeeze it in over there it could be janitors going in here so we'll get the on call room going there's a few other rooms that we could get so we'll get the on call room going for the doctors over here and then we need the nurse's station um, that we can get over here let's flip that around okay so on call room nurses station, then we'll do HDU and um, and regular. So what is a regular ward looking like? That's 7,000 and this one is 13,000. That's an extra 20K, which we cannot afford. This one, however, is... It's just got so... I, I kind of need to, to do that one, really. Anyway, we'll grab ourselves a regular ward as a starting point and we'll... So we'll do that, and then if we say a high dependency ward, oh man, it can almost squeeze in. I'll I'll do that and just move move that so that we kind of do uh, the high dependency over there. Can we can we do it? Oh man, we could do it. Uh, it actually gave us that option, and we've got. Uh, all I want to do is, oh, I wonder, will I be able to do the door there? Can I? Anyway, for time being, that's a single door there. We'll leave it. We'll leave it as is. So now we've got um, hospitalization for cardio. So let's do that. We'll see that we've got the beds available. I think that should work, even though it looks a little funny. But we'll we'll sort that out nonetheless. Okay, we need a few nurses. So let's grab the nurses that we need. I don't have the money to do anything apart from just pick a couple of nurses. So we'll go ahead. Oh, we need surgical nurses actually. Surgery nurses, two of them. Okay, so we'll do that one and we need another surgery nurse, please. And maybe this one. That's okay. That's fine. Uh, but we need three nurses in, in general, right? Three nurses. Yeah, we need another nurse as well. So let's do this one. We'll just grab. Oof, she's got two hidden things here. Let's just do that. Let's just grab her and see how that goes. We need a nighttime nurse as well. So let's grab a nighttime nurse. Let's go with surgical just so that we are ready for that. We'll grab this one. 
she's got dirty feet and she's a fresh parent so oof, anyway we'll get her to to work the night shift it just doesn't sound right does it uh ooh, we need a diagnostic unit so this isn't actually going to work ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. we missed that mm. don't have the money so we'll have to <clears throat> kind of deal with it as it goes uh actually i think what i should do is i should probably grab a little bit more in the loan scheme of things yeah, that's getting a little out of hand now. But what we need to do is we need a diagnostic unit here. So let's go cardiology, um, on call room, diagnostic unit. Uh, we can't squeeze in a diagnostic unit. My goodness. That is a bit of a bummer. Is that diagnostic unit? Hang on. Did I use the big one over here? Let's just see. Really, I did. If I didn't do that, we could have had, we could have extra room here. Hmm. I'm not keen on moving it all the way out here, though. But it's going to have to do. It's going to have to do. Give me my six by six diagnostic unit here. I'm going to have to move it all the way out here. It's just not right. We need like janitors and stuff. Yeah, not great, not great, not great. Okay. Uh, anyway, I'm uh, I'm quite. Uh, I, I hear there's a new. Um, we'll get the diagnostic units to go in there. Um, we probably need. Okay, a little bit of money. So we've got. Um, we can go ahead and get ourselves the. A bit of a restroom going on over here. Perfect. So that's that's good. We'll sort that out. So there's a bit of a restroom available here. And we also need <clears throat> some janitor's offices. So we don't have that. Um, if we go here, do we have janitor? No, we don't. Really? So we don't have a janitor's closet? A cleaning closet here? Really? There's a cleaning closet in here, right? Yeah, there's a cleaning closet. So we can't do a cleaning closet... Oh, oh, there it is. So oh, I thought that's a little weird. Okay, so we'll grab a cleaning closet over there. We'll squeeze it in here. So we'll get ourselves a bit of a janitor to come and come and clean up a lot of these areas as well. Um, we probably need to dedicate some of these areas. Oh, I need more doctors, actually. I didn't even get to the doctors. Okay, let's get a janitor going. We'll just grab whoever. That one and a night janitor. That one and that's it. We'll grab ourselves some doctors. So we need uh, we need a surgeon and an anesthesiologist. So let's grab ourselves a surgeon. Differential diagnosis. Okay, so we'll get a surgeon and an anesthesiologist. Mm, I don't like it. Anyway, anesthesiologist and a nighttime... There was a night person here, right? Anesthesiologist. Yeah, I'll do that one. I'll get her to do the night shift. Um, and then we need one more doctor over here for the daytime. Um, I'm thinking surgeon just in general. Differential diagnosis over there. Uh, yeah, maybe this one. Okay, we'll do something like that. So now we should be okay. Um, I wanted to assign a few corridors here though. Let's just make sure we sign this area oh see all of this is not being cleaned at the moment but what we'll do is we'll assign um, this little section oh no that's not that wasn't quite what I had in mind actually so if we run that all the way to there yeah that's okay. So we'll we'll assign it like this so that that kind of works. What we'll also need to do is we'll need to do a little waiting room section. Why do we have a waiting room? Okay, anyway. What we'll do is we'll just um, assign a little waiting room section um, right ov over there. Just to make sure that they don't complain about that not being a, an option. Um, what are the other office, other things that we needed here? We needed potentially, yeah, cardiography and sonography units, uh, which we don't really have. But the other thing, cardiography, let's have a look. 
<coughs> excuse me, Whew. that's a sneeze. Um, okay, a cardiography. What else? What else? Where is it? So, okay, so operating room, cardiography unit, and sonography unit, and they won't fit in here either. So we're a little, uh, yeah. So we're a little, yeah. Our, our area isn't great. Our isn't area isn't great. This this design didn't didn't end up working so well for hospitalization. But either way, we've got stuff going on. Ooh, what I wanted to do is I wanted to check out this here. I wanted to actually do the doors. So if we say grab the double door, which is this one, and we go with that color there, can we? Okay. So if I go and remove that one, nice. And then I'll grab the double door and we'll, but doesn't want to go in there. Uh, why is that? Can we, let's turn this around so I can see what's going on in here. Uh, yeah, absolutely. I know exactly what the problem is. Let's move that over. We'll get our double door and we will slot it in there. Okay, so that will actually work quite well. So we've got a pretty decent HDU hospitalization section going on over there. Nice. Okay, now let's... Um, Let's head back into the into the hospital and we'll see if we can maybe get to 80 people by the end of the day. I think it's, it's realistic considering we... Um, okay, so these have all left, right? Oh, not, not quite yet. So I'm still doing a few things over here. So anticoagulants needs to be prescribed, which is fine. We can do that. Anticoagulants. And what else needs a little bit of help? Uh, chest pain. So we'll, we'll sort out. So what I, kind of what I do here is I pick the stuff that's medium and above and we treat those, um, those symptoms. We don't treat the low and, and, and st the low stuff like that. So we'll treat the chest pain. Um, in terms of discomfort, that's what I do. Um, but I believe this should be sorted out anyway, right? What is that actually? That anticoagulant. So that's anyway what we're doing. So that should solve that one. And then we'll just add a little bit of pain medication over here. And that should sort out everything. You've been done, um, so nail fungus is what we're going to get. Oh, after physical examination, that's great. So we're not going to go any further than that. You need um, antifungal ointment. And I don't think there's anything else requiring anything here. No, so antifungal ointment only should do the trick so we can send you home. Thank you very much. Excellent. Another patient um, gets treated over here. What are we doing? Anticoagulants have been done. So I believe that's fine. Let's send that patient home as well. Excellent. So it's up to 75, 76. So we need four more patients before midnight. I think it's completely possible. Okay, so this patient is collapsing. Um, but I believe we artificial ventilation. I believe we're doing, oh, pulmonary surgery um, in the internal medicine department. So I believe we should move you to, okay, you're collapsing at the moment. Okay, well, let's just keep an eye on you. Let's see what the doctors are doing. You're in the trauma care center at the moment, oh, going into ICU, but you should be able to get your, um, your pulmonary surgery at some point, right? Okay, um, I'll have a look at our statistics again. So we'll go department by department, see if there's any critical ones over here. Emergency, no critical. Uh, ooh, X-ray has got three critical... Um, uh, uh, ones three critical ones so how do we so then we're going to hang on what okay hang on so how do we okay so if we go here no anyway let's uh, let's see this and yesterday oh it's been critical for a while i don't know i think that's just today's workload statistics anyway um oh, we need four more people in four hours i think Surely we should be able to do that. Okay, so we've got three critical rooms. Um, I'll just need to find out which they are. Okay, let's move on beyond that. Laboratories, one critical in, at night. ICU, general surgery. Uh, okay, none of these are are getting any critical. Ooh, one critical in, um, in neurology as well. Okay, we have to check out which ones they are. So neurology and... And, 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 um, what is this called? The radiology. Okay, radiology, we should be able to see critical over here. So, the cardiography unit is critical. Um, and the x-ray is critical. 
and the MRI is critical. Okay. Okay, that's that's interesting. This overload is high, and that one is low. So, so really, we are seeing a fair bit of critical stuff going on over here. I don't think we've got the money to fix that just yet, but we'll uh, certainly keep that in mind. We could do with an, at least an extra x-ray, I think. Okay, over here, they're saying we've got critical workload in a doctor's office over here, and the other one is high. Um, I think that's kind of okay for now. I'm not going to do anything about that just yet. Um, well, we don't have the money. If we can get those additional patients, it would be brilliant. So let's uh, keep running. Um, I've got doctor's mode going on. I don't think any of these doctors are still here. Waiting and there's no free bed in ICU hospitalization. My goodness, I can't definitely can't afford that. So unfortunately, we're not going to be able to sort that out and we're going to have to send you away. That's not quite what I had in mind, but we wouldn't have been able to cure you in four hours anyway. Monitored patient is collapsing. What is this all about? Ooh. <sighs> That's not good. And I'm assuming... Okay, we'll just see what, the, what they do from here. But I'm assuming they're going to want to put you in ICU yet again. And we don't have another ICU bed available. Doing an ear examination, really? That doesn't seem right. While you're collapsing... Okay, can we please, uh, we've got no one here, no one at any one of these doctor's offices, oh no, oh yeah, all of them have been, have been sent, let go, ah, oh, okay, so we're not going to reach the 80 today, HDU hospitalization and oxygen therapy, okay, that's good, I'm still very worried about what's going on over there, do you need, ooh, a craniotomy, so presumably there will be some, um, some surgeries going on. Yeah, unfortunately, I don't think we're gonna gonna see our 80 patients. We need three more. Okay, what do you have? CO2 poisoning. Okay, that seems pretty. Okay, well, anyway, let's see what the doctor does with this. So we already know what the um, what the diagnosis is over here. Come on, doctor, come and sort things out. Long wait for examination temperature. Temperature measurement. Um, should be fine. You've got everything going on. You just uh, there's probably just not a nurse available. Long wait for treatment. Okay, so the internal internal department is struggling a little bit. So shall we have a, have a look at what's going on in here? Um, it's night time, so we've got we've got two nighttime doctors here, and two nighttime nurses as well so really oh but there's a lot of patients okay anyway let's uh let's bear with that and let's go back down i want to have a look at what what this what they're going to do over here okay immediate oxygen therapy hdu hospitalization that's fine keep going and oxygen therapy is what you're going to be prescribed unfortunately you've got a symptom here that's going to lead to collapse and I'm hoping the oxygen therapy is going to sort that out. What do you, what have you, oh, we need one more? Oh man, that would be awesome if we can get that done. Oh, this patient came in from, from observation. Okay, interesting. There are no free beds. Ah, uh, is this the craniotomy? You've, oh my goodness, no free beds in... Uh, in neurology department. Hmm. We have the two. What's going on over here? Let's have a look. Uh, neurology. Oh man. And we can't make one of those an HDU bed, and we don't have any money. Oh, that's that's really, that's really not good. We'll have to send them away because we can't afford any any more action here. Oh, jeez. Can you believe it? We need like shared HDU. Oh, we did it. <laughs> we did it with like an hour to spare. Okay, there goes our grant. Um, now, what can we do with this money to sort out our stuff a little bit? The two things that I need that I think we need to do look at is get the um, choreography and sonography units over here. 
but we also need to get the neuro exam unit. Maybe the cardiography unit isn't that important because there are, we can do that in, in the radiology. Um, it's not going to be great, but what I'm going to do is I'm just going to place these things over here. So let's get the prefabs for those. Uh, to, to, to prefab in cardiology, we want, what rooms do we want? Sonography and cardiography unit. We'll start with the sonography unit, though I think those are in the radiology department. So we'll do that one. And then we'll go with the, let's get the neuro, the neuro one, neurology office, the neuro exam unit. Uh, there needs to be something over there. We'll get the Nero exam unit somewhere. Somewhere over there. Yeah, that seems... Well, I'm kind of tempted to get those. Actually, let's do this. Let's place it... Mm, let's just place it in here. Um, so those two units are pretty good. And at the same time, I'm kind of tempted. Do we get more doctors and nurses? Well, we've got stuff going around here. So let's see um, if we say um, these guys were struggling a little bit. Maybe an extra nurse, um, an extra night nurse over here would be a good idea for us. Um, yeah, I can probably uh, afford to do one of these. A germaphobe and the resistance levels. That's okay. We'll grab her. Um, do we do an extra doctor though? Oh, we've got three daytime doctors. Well, let's do, if we do an extra nighttime doctor, that's an anesthesiologist, and so we'll get an extra surgeon here, I think. Um, let's do this one quickly. What, what, what are these things? So that's a long commute. That's a hedonist. Spends twice as much time enjoying food. Loyal and comforting. And Oh, this, is, this looks good. Moves much faster and... All needs are reduced much slower. This is going to be great. Okay, you're going to go in there. You are... Ooh, you're not a surgeon though. But do we need another surgeon? Hang on. We don't. We can do surgery just like this if we just add one more. So we've got everything we need for that. So let's just grab this guy then. Peter Hill, you'll be in assisting. Um, so hopefully we can do nighttime surgeries and get more people out through there. Internal medicine has got a lot of people, a lot of wards actually, a lot of wards in internal medicine. Okay, well, let's see. Let's see how that goes. Oh, I need to, sorry, I need, um, I need to actually appoint people to work here. So we'll get, um, do that. Yeah, you, you seem pretty good here, right? Loyal and hard worker. You're getting the day shift. We need someone on the night shift as well. Um, that's a long commute, but it is also a Spartan. So let's uh, let's get you for the for the night shift. I think that's going to be great um, over there. So that can work. We'll get um, the cardiology teams in place here as well. Let's make a payment there. So this guy I love is an alcoholic, but is very pleasant. And this one, oh, that's pretty good. The resistance and people person. We'll grab that one and a nighttime one. Uh, hard worker is exactly what I think we should be doing. Grab that one over there. Okay, excellent. That's good. Okay, so now we've got these units that should be working. Um, I'm hoping we don't... Now we need to treat 90 patients, don't we? Okay. Next intern will be a great. So that's not a very great thing for us to get. We need to purchase an additional ambulance. We've got four ambulances at the moment, so I think that's the next step for us, is to just keep running this so that we can get an extra ambulance so that we can unlock the next the next uh, insurance company. Oh, we're still treating people. Nice. Because the clinic is open during the night, um, we can still treat people. So that's good. Okay, now, really? That's not good. Where do you work? Where's your... I don't know, where, where are you working? You work the MRI. James Martinez, that's not good. We'll have to see how that goes. We've got, okay, what are you, long wait for HDU hospitalization, really? Okay, what are you, you're waiting for? For what, uh, angiography, and that's in here. 
So we're actually not actually we don't, we're not employing someone to work there at night, are we? So let's since you're waiting, we'll may as well grab it. Um, that's the one. Okay, so you so at least we'll start doing those things at night now. It all of this is working at night. Yeah, absolutely. Everything is. Oh, that sorry, that's the MRI. This this was CT. That's the MRI. This was CT. Okay, um, that's okay. Let's uh, let's get back to business. So hopefully you should now be called and get your your stuff done here. Oh, and now tonom tonometry is available. Excellent. That's something. I'm not sure how that what that is. But at least it's available. Did you get anything else? Absolutely. So you've got um, that. So let's get you some corduroy steroids. Are there anything else that you need? Uh, recommendations and pain. There we go. And you should be out of here. As soon as that's done. Eye surgery? Ooh, we'll have a look at that now. Oh, we don't have enough doctors to do nighttime eye surgery though. We will keep an eye treated. I'll, I want to have a look at, at that now. Okay, send home. Thank you. Okay, let's have a look here. So you're waiting to have eye surgery. Okay, skipped after waiting for too long, waiting for surgical team. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we don't have the staff available. Wow, this is dirty, guys. Where's our... Um, Oh, this is, we'll have to have a look at that. Um, okay, let's we'll have to have a look at that straight away. Okay, so we need a surgical team in the evening in order to undertake that. There's been a surgery gonna happen here. No, no, no surgeries at the moment. Um, okay, let's uh, let's see. Can we in neurology department get? Um, Okay, we're nowhere close to having the uh, the right staff to do that. So let's get a, we've got a surgeon. We need an anesthesiologist in the evening. Let's, uh, let's pay to see what we can get here. Germaphobe, what is this? Fast learner. Different diagnostic genius, diagnostic genius. Well, we'll just... Oh, this one. Let's just uh, let's just grab you. No, no positive or negative traits. That's fine. And we need uh, one more, which can just be an assistant, but also I don't mind grabbing. That's it. Advanced diagnostics again. Uh, we'll grab. We'll grab this one. I know we didn't check all the all the stuff there. So now we've got those. We need how many nurses do we need? Well, we'll grab ourselves. Um, Another surgical nurse, please. Yeah, that's okay. And another. Okay, that's okay. We'll do that. And now we should be able to do nighttime surgery, I think. Yeah, I think I think that's fine. Okay, let's see. Maybe they can prep and go into surgery now. Uh, I wanted to have a look at this. So this is over here, but we don't have... We have a cleaning closet. Okay, well, truly, we need to add a few more people to that. So we'll just go and grab that one, and I don't care too much about them. And that one over there, and we'll see about, hopefully we can get a little bit more cleaning going on over there. That's the idea. The rest of the place is kind of looking okay. We just need this area to be sorted out. There's a little dirty over here as well, but there's a few um, janitors, I believe, over here. Let's check the general surgery department ever so quickly. Uh, we've only got actually one one so let's get additional janitors over here we'll get that one and we'll get this one and then hopefully we uh, we can have this place um, speak and span a little quicker we've got all of this room with no people in there anyway anyway we're doing uh, we're doing what we can Okay, guys, I think we're, oh, we need more, a little bit more cash in order to um, to get another ambulance. So I think another 15, ooh, actually another 20,000 is what we're going to need. So hopefully um, a lot of people um, get cleared this morning and we can purchase ourselves that additional ambulance. Speed things along a little bit. 
We don't see a lot of patients during the evening over here. These doctors are kind of just hanging out in the common room. Okay, what's going on over here? Again with some uh, poisoning going on. Hidden symptoms aren't flashing at least, so that's at least a good sign. Can be hospitalized fairly quickly. You are... Oh, actually, I don't think you can. I think we had the, the concern that we don't have any more HDU beds available. We've got... That's regular hospitalization, right? HDU is absolutely packed. That is um, scary. That is scary. I would... Mm, maybe what we do is we add another one in there. That's, I think, what we're going to do. We're going to need that. So let's do this one. We'll get the HDU hospitalization or the HDU ward here. Um, no, no, no. We'll go with a small one. And what we will do is we will do our standard trick of moving, moving the stuff around um, as best we can. Okay, I wanted to move that one like over there and then Really? Where? Hang on. Don't quite get why that's a thing. Anyway, we'll do this over there and that over there and we'll get the extra bed. Hospital bed, the red variety, we'll get it in there. This time I'm going to remember the bed socket. Um, we'll do uh, life support over there. We need uh, the bed socket. Let's do that right now. And we'll grab ourselves the bedside table, and there we go. So now we've got additional um, additional capacity over there. So hopefully they can move um, these two up. Um, do we have any stuff going on here? Are they going to do surgery for anybody? What about that that one that was waiting on the eye surgery? Someone was waiting on eye surgery somewhere. no idea this one hospitalized sleeping oh you've had it it's been done wow that was quick that was really quick okay I missed it completely okay we should be okay some more patients coming in. We are treating a fair bit, even though uh, the day really hasn't started. Uh, okay, so a myocardial infarction. Um, and I believe that'll be treated straight away, right? Nitrates. I'm assuming they'll be hospitalized. Yeah, and then they'll, they'll go from there. Excellent. Our trauma care center is doing pretty well, or trauma center, or whatever they want, want to call that, is doing pretty well. Okay, uh, we should have two patients up here in the new room. Uh, oh, hang on, let's uh, we'll check that out now. Two new patients up here. Yeah, at least we've got the one there. Okay, what are you saying? You need. Oh, you are hospitalized here. So, um, I've just added some more. Waiting for a free examination room. Ah, so yes, we potentially need another diagnostics unit um, over here somewhere. Okay. Okay, that's something we should uh, should keep an eye on. Okay, that's fine, that's fine. Okay, guys, I'm going to end it here, and I'll see you in the next episode. We're out of money yet again. Um, hopefully, we can... Um, actually, let's see. At, we'll wait till 8 a.m. to see how much money we make when a lot of... Whoa, look at all those patients. When a lot of patients uh, leave. Almost 8 a.m. And go. 7,000. Actually, we've, we've made about 10,000 now. So there's a lot of patients that's leaving. Uh, there wasn't any here, but there's a lot of patients leaving now. Over on this side. Nice, nice. All of those HDU beds opening up. That's pretty good. Um, unfortunately, our ICU is still jam-packed. So I think we do. We will need to expand our ICU a little bit more. It's, uh, it's already bigger than I expected. Anyway, guys, thanks so much for watching. I've, uh, I'm, I'm enjoying this a lot. I really can't wait for the, uh, for the new DLC to come out. I will most certainly be, um, be uh, starting a new hospital once the new DLC comes out, just because it's going to change things up so, so much. And I'm a little frustrated at how our layout is working at the moment. I'm, it wasn't planned the way it should be. Um, I, want, I want it to be better. But I'll see, we'll see you, I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.